Well, hello there, Sagittarius. Shelbet to Sagitt. Hello there, Sagittarius. It is time for your new moon tarot reading. All right, we're on the last new moon of the calendar year 2022, but it is the first new moon of the winter season. So we have winter solstice to the new moon, the 21st to the 23rd, which intuitively I am feeling like is like big manifestation energy, and I will explain why. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Melissa, and I'm here to hopefully spark something that will help you on your journey. All right, so let's talk about this new moon. Uh, after this new moon, we have, um, I think Mars and Mercury go into retrograde. I'm not sure. I'm not an astrology person. I just follow a lot and understand some of it and share what I feel is pertinent and, you know, that I understand. So we have a couple of retrogrades coming in. I believe December 29th is when they start and they last through like mid-January, which is why I think it would be better for um, intention setting, manifestation, New Year's resolutions, all that sort of jazz to happen before the holiday weekend if you celebrate Christmas um, in the time between the, uh, the solstice and the new moon. That's just intuitively, that's what I'm feeling. It, 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 before I even knew that there were retrogrades, that's how I was feeling about the situation. So we're going to look at what's going on with you. We're going to look at um, some intentions that you uh, could be setting that will work out well for you. All right, so let's do this. What does Sagittarius need to know about this new moon? Three of Swords. Death. Uh, and the Ace of Wands. There's, there's a... Here's our Three of Swords, our Death card, and our Ace of Wands, okay? So there is a beginning on the horizon. Um, there is um, a shift that is taking place. Um, I don't know what this healing is. The Three of Swords for me is more about healing things than it is like trauma, heartbreak, all that. It's more about healing because those things require healing. So, um, I definitely see that aspect here. I feel like there's a healing that is taking place maybe currently or has taken place in the recent past. Um, that is causing a transition for you. This death card is about transition. It's letting something go to make room for something new. And then we follow it with the ace of wands, which is something new coming in. Um, it, it feels like you're giving up on like worrying about trauma, like, um, like you're you're ready to release your attachment to it and um these attachment vibes see how these swords are all tied to a string it's a common theme in this deck i will be posting a walkthrough of this deck um probably friday maybe um it's already filmed and i just finished editing it it was 40 minutes long because i loved each card and talked about each card for way too long anyways um there's like, an, there was an attachment. I feel like you're ready to let go of this attachment to this trauma and you're ready to move on and start working on what inspires you, what, um, what things that you're passionate about. And you're kind of, I feel like channeling that energy into that. And you're channeling the energy of trauma or um, hurt or pain that you went through into something new and creative. So it's like you're, you're putting your pain on a can. Pain? Pain, yes, pain without the T, onto a canvas. You know, you're creating something from that. Um, and, you know, I feel like that's kind of a beautiful thing. All right, so let's clarify each of these cards. What is this Three of Swords? The Six of Swords. Another butterfly. Moving on, right? The Six of Swords is about, um, is another kind of transitionary card. It's uh, moving on to something better. We have this, um, it's almost like, see that, like, almost like it's bleeding. There's, like, dripping from the butterfly, and it's into a healed state. It's like the butterfly itself transformed, not necessarily just a butterfly representing transformation. It's like the butterfly itself transitioned or transformed into like and this is in a night sky and it's it's like white like it needed to bleed that green out okay green also associating with the uh, heart chakra so i feel like it was like 
letting go of the pain was like bleeding out the pain um, and leaving you like with a fresh slate, a uh, clean slate, like a fresh canvas, like I said before. Um, it's, I feel like that it was needing to release that pain and letting it like um, fall away to create something new um, and like reveal your true self. Self. So yes, I definitely feel like there's healing that has taken place. And I feel like because this one, it looks like it's complete, right? This is also moving on um, from a bad situation to a better situation, which first three cards just flat out said anyways, because um, the Ace of Wands is like a, a brand new thing. Um, so yeah, I feel like the Six of Swords is, is kind of saying that, yeah, you went through that trauma, but now look at you. Um, and you may not be there yet, but you're, you're getting there. Okay. So just, um, I feel like I should tell you to express gratitude for as far as you've come so far. Okay. All right. What is this death card doing here? Then we have the nine of coins, right? This is all about independent. Like I get independent abundance from this one. Usually there's like a woman with a bird. We do have that bird here and we have all of the, the fruit and the grapes and just um, luxury and, and the lavishness and like abundance and fertility as well with the fruit representing fertility there. So I feel like this is definitely you coming into your own, but I do also get very independent vibes from the nines. Um, the nine, the nine of coins specifically, I get like self-made um, self-fulfilling. So it's definitely an aspect of you doing the work here. You've done this work. All right, let's look at the Ace of Wands. What is this new beginning for Sagittarius? The Wheel, the Wheel of Fortune. So in this card, this you see the, um, the ball of yarn or whatever that has been um, tied to the swords. Um, it's acted as like a leash or whatever, and we can't see where it's coming from or who's controlling it. Um, but then we see the wheel. The wheel is what is spinning. It's spinning around that. You can see it's kind of tangled in there. And as the wheel spins, it kind of pulls those strings. So depending on which direction the wheel falls, will uh, kind of dictate which direction these swords are going. And that's not the only swords that have all of those strings. We have the, the nine of swords that has uh, strings tied to everything. So it's, it's more about um, who's in control of your wheel. And I feel like with it clarifying the ace of wands, it's saying that, that you can, can take, can take control of this wheel. That it's the wheel you create your own destiny is what I just heard. Um, so yeah, it can go either direction, but you also have two hands right? You can, you can spin this wheel to your favor. Um, and I feel like you're doing that with this kind of very independent action card here. Um, so let's get an intention. <sighs> intention. What intention would be good for Sagittarius for this new moon? Five of coins, the proclaimer Hierophant and the crown of swords. Okay, so again, getting that coming out of bad and, and moving into something more powerful here. So we have the five of coins here, um, a little bit uh, worse for the wear, but not, I mean, but fixable, right? Um, lyrics to a song that I really, really like are coming into my head. Um, Demi Lovato, Eat Me. If you're interested, look up that song. Um, there's a line in there that says, um, dirty but washable, winning but stoppable. I, that's what I'm getting from this card right here. Like it's, it's, it's repairable. Like things have gone down a little bit, but you can take charge of that. I feel like this, um, higher fan energy from the proclaimer, um, there, maybe there's a teacher that can help you. Um, but I also get, um, past energy from this, um, from the memory of the elephant. So there could be some memories that you have to pull from that could be the key to, um, repairing the situation. 
Um, so, and then we have the, the crown, which would be the king of swords. And this is about your thoughts, your communication, being an effective communicator, um, and, and clarity as well. So any intentions, um, revolving around healing, um, repairing things that are broken, any intentions around, um, maybe, uh, being guided to somebody or someplace that can help you repair things and also take charge of your thoughts and um, help you to communicate effectively. So there may be there may be um, an organization or a person that can help you. Um, maybe and I'm getting like organize your thoughts. Um, that's kind of a message. So though any intentions relating to that, I feel would be great for you for this new moon, not full moon, I almost said full moon, for this new moon um, that brings us into 2023 and that should carry you through really the whole year, honestly. Um, I'm not saying don't set new intentions frequently throughout the year, but I feel like this one will have like a common reoccurrence or, or, or like a theme throughout. So that is what I have for your little 10 minute tarot, which is actually 11 minutes. And uh, I always, I want you to remember that all, all the magic that you seek is within you, and I hope you have a blessed day.